New at six, LAFC midfielder Kellen Acosta could be the first Japanese American to play in a World Cup for the U.S. Today, Fox 11's Mark Rogandino, as he toured uh, the Japanese American National Museum, that's what he did today, and he joins us live. Mark. That is right, Marla and Alex. Great to be with you here on Fox 11. I did have a chance to tour with Kellen Acosta here at the Japanese American National Museum earlier today. And let me say, covering soccer, or the beautiful game as we like to call it, for 20 years here in this country, one of the things I've always loved is telling the stories of diversity and rich cultural stories that bring players onto the field and bring players together, like Kellen Acosta. He is both Japanese and American, but he hasn't really had a chance to dig into those Japanese Japanese roots. He did that today along with his father and his grandmother. And as you'll see, it was rich in pride and emotions. It's something I never really, you know, got myself into. I mean, I'm, you know, American born and bred, and I've kind of only learned certain aspects of, 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 of my life in that sense. But to, to have this uh, culture kind of infused into, into my life and to learn more has been, it's been huge. A bunch of mixed emotions. I mean, just more so just having my grandma here and kind of just hearing her thoughts and for her to kind of just wind back time and see different things and, you know, her little stories and just taking it all in. I just surprise my family. I all the time, my grandson, he's a wonderful person and a very nice personality. And I love him so much. Today, everything woke up. And so I feel it's so great. It's very exciting. When he asked us to come out here for this event, we were really excited. So even though we're busy in our life, I said, Mom, we got to go to L.A. She was excited to come here. At first, I didn't know if she was going to be here because she, you know, she's 81 years old. She's like, no, I want to get on a plane and go there. So be part of this and learn about the history and just hear some of the things that happened to our people and be here with Kellen and then my mom, you know, three generations. Uh, it's amazing. It just gives you an idea. Now, while it was really eye-opening for Kellen and his family to be here touring the museum, I should also add it was the representatives of the museum that could not believe how much interest it was generating. They were thrilled to have him, and it looks like this is the beginning of something where Kellen could become a representative for the Japanese-American culture and this museum going forward. As you guys mentioned, he might be the first ever Japanese-American player to suit up for the U.S. men's national team in the World Cup coming up in November. This story still has a lot of twists and turns coming your way. Uh, reporting from out here in Little Tokyo, Mark Rogandino, Fox 11 Sports.